Hi friends, today I'm here to share a really amazing Spanish dish called paella, which I'm cooking with my lovely friend Patricia. Here she is. Hola Parvati, ¿cómo estás? Hola Patricia. Paella deliciosa. We're going to make a delicious paella, okay? Excellent. That's good. That sounds really fantastic. <laughs> yeah, I'm see. so looking forward. Let's see how it works, yes. okay? So here is the recipe which is written in Spanish but translated in English. Not the method, only the ingredients you can probably see it is in English now. We're going to show you step by step so don't worry about the method. Here Patricia is chopping all the vegetables very finely. She has taken half green capsicum, half red capsicum, half of a red onion, one garlic clove and some fresh tomatoes. Other main ingredients are here. We are using Italian risotto rice, some fresh prawns and about 250 grams of mixed seafood which includes squid, fish and mussels. We are also going to use fish stock to cook the rice. Here Patricia is heating up her paella pan and added about 2 tablespoons of olive oil. We are also cooking some mussels in their shell separately so that we can add this later. Now our oil is hot enough, we have added the capsicum and we are adding onion. So there is garlic, garlic, um, onion, red onion, mm -hmm. then uh, red capsicum, green capsicum and fresh tomato. Now we are going to saute the finely chopped vegetables for some time until it becomes tender. And Patricia is going to sprinkle some salt at this point. And now this is the time we are going to add the mixed seafood into this. Mainly there is squid and mussel and some fish pieces. The smell is very nice. We are adding this first because the squid and the mussels need more cooking time. So I'm going to put four of water. Yes. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. As we are going to use two cups of rice, we've already added four cups of water, including the fish broth. Now we added the rice and spreading it evenly. Now we are going to sprinkle about quarter teaspoon of saffron into this. And now this is a waiting time. We need about 10 to 15 minutes for the rice to be nicely cooked and fluffy. Once the rice is cooked halfway through, we are going to add the raw prawns into this. Now we distribute these beauties. Prawns doesn't need that much time to get cooked. If you cook it too long, it will become so rubbery. So we are going to add it now. Now we are going to also add the mussels which is cooked in their shell. This will give a nice flavor to the rice. Now we are going to check whether the rice is cooked enough. It looks like it's not ready. Moist? Yeah. Uh, no, no, no. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 This is really good. This is especially for prawns. Yeah. Now we are going to flip the mussels and the prawns to the other side so that it gets evenly cooked. This paella pan is really good. Where did you get it from? from um, it was a gift. <laughs> From, from Colombia. So you brought it from Colombia? No. If a Colombian friend Frank bought, bought it, it here, uh -huh. I think she bought it in Aldi's oh, and okay. she gave it to me as a gift in December wow. for Christmas. Right and then, timing, Patricia. <laughs> strange. And I put it away because I thought, when am I going to make, make a paella? paella? And look. <laughs> so what do you call in Spanish for paella? Paella. Paella. Si. <laughs> And seafood, what do you call it? Seafood in Colombia? We say comida de mar. What comida? Is comida is food. The mar, mar is sea. 
So comida de mar. They replace because mm. they, I understand for paella, they always use seafood, mm -hmm. but sometimes they mix it with other mix. It, it's a mixture of seafood and chicken. It is common. Yes, yeah. that yeah. is common too. But, but that one. is Portuguese though. That is Portuguese. That's a Portuguese um, restaurant chain. Yeah, I know. I know. But Portugal and Spain are next, are neighbors. So yeah. they, share. they share a lot of recipes. Yes. Yeah. So, Colombia is in South America, it's very far, but we were colonized by the by Spanish. The Spanish. Mm. So that's why there is a lot of influence from Spain, mm. not only in Colombia, but the whole Latin America from Mexico down to Chile. Yeah. And Brazil was colonized by the Portuguese. Yeah. So we have a lot of com commonalities, but yeah. it's a different language. Mm. Yeah. Colombia, you speak Spanish. Yes, we speak. It's uh, like we speak Spanish and in Spain they speak Spanish, but they are different, um, no dialects. We can understand each other. Mm -hmm. It's just like Britain and the United States, or so Britain and Australia. It's English and they can communicate, but it's a slightly different accent and words mm -hmm. for some things, mm -hmm. but they can communicate. And see, it looks like our paella is ready. Buen apetito. A disfrutar la paella. Let's enjoy the paella. <laughs> <laughs> so that's so dinner awesome. tonight? Yeah. <laughs> for your yeah. family? Yeah, for you as well. Yum! <laughs> so we're going to eat it now? Yes. It's so see. yummy. Let's see let's how it see is. Let's see the taste. Mmm. Nice. Mm. The seafood flavor is really yes. infused in it. Yeah. It worked out well. So here it is my dear friends. If you like this recipe, please try it yourself. It's very easy. Also, if you like my videos, please like, share and subscribe to my channel for more videos. If you like more international videos, please comment that too. Thank you for watching.